So 2021 was a solid year for anime, with releases like 86ers, Mortal Kombat Revengers, and Komi-san Can Communicate, with Saibuki Bisco being another solid addition. The show shows Dr. Milo Nikoyangi, who assists people through his clinic and through his job of being a doctor. But in the city, this side of Tokyo, we see it's now a dark and gloomy city, which honestly is one of the best things about the show right off the bat. The dark and dim setting offsets the theme of gloomy mushrooms, which we'll talk about later. So, the city is very dark and dim, which really contrasts with Milo's pursuit and selflessness to want to help others. And this is just exemplified by his bright eyes and bright hair. But if he were to stand outside, he would stick out because the city is gloom, no hope. And anyone and everyone is just surviving, not truly living. But you can see he enjoys his work and enjoys helping other people instead of looking out for himself. Going back to mushrooms, mushrooms have always been something I've been interested in. Just on the side note, just stay like something to cool. And this is one of the reasons I decided to watch the show, though, Tangent. So, which leads me back to the character Milo, aka dubbed Panda. His character acts as a grows growing, growing in concrete per se. This is shown by his character design as mentioned previously, as he sticks out right off the bat, almost like a rose growing out of concrete. And he displays his purity as we see in the first scene quickly, but politely rejecting one of the a one night stand with one of the workers he's helping. Just showing that he has respect and really cherishes commitment rather than just pleasure. So we see this again when Tiro tries to come onto him, but he politely rejects once again. What this shows is how he prioritizes friendship more than so than his own gains. And also, it's cool and refreshing. Much of this show is also pretty good. I think it connects back to the calm yet fiery tone this wants to set, as it offsets the rock and upbeat intro. Because the intro is honestly really upbeat and really gets you into it, but then the outro is really slow, has more vocals in it. And honestly, that, in my opinion, really solidifies the show's idea of wanting to be about balance. Because shows can just be one way or the other, but the show attempts to strike a nice fine line between it. Because you have Milo, who is really reserved, but yet becomes fiery. But then you have Bisco, who becomes more dependent on hers, despite initially not wanting help. So I just think it shows a balance for characters to need it. So they need to be double-sided because of their one side that ultimately leads them to doing horrible things or even to their deaths and i think a fiery spirit kept in check by a calm mind is really what this series tried to do and honestly i think it did it quite well i wouldn't say this show is is a great great show but i would say it's definitely worth the watch and it's definitely one of the better shows that came out in the year 2021 and I do have to ad admire all the animation and the idea of mushrooms sprouting humongously because it just shows that honestly a very creative outlet. And honestly, in my opinion, I think you should check out the show because it's not very long, only 12 episodes. And it does leave the door open for season two considering Bisso does come back in the last episode. So I would say give that anime a watch and I will see you in the next episode of Anime Lasses. Take care.